Yo guys, what's going down? It's your boy Ali here and welcome back to another one of my review videos. And today we are going to be reviewing, so I've got itchy naughty. We're going to be reviewing the Oak Castle DVD player, which I'm very, very impressed. I got this off Amazon, I think, for 39 quid, I think I'm 39, 40 quid, something like that. But it also came with a two year warranty, which is fantastic. Um, it's, it's not currently plugged in, but at the back, I don't know if you can see, at the back you've got two options, you can either do cables where it goes the sound, DVD, um, video and something else, audio out and audio in and DVD and power, not the power is that one, but yeah. Or you got a HDMI, which also works. Um, personally, I prefer the HDMI, so you don't have to faff around all the wires. But this TV, which I'll review in this in the next video, stay tuned. Will will take it either option. Got two HDMI cables on that TV, which are quite or outlets or inlets, whatever it's called. So it's got that. Now the DVD player is actually really good. It's, it's actually quite quiet, which I like. It comes with obviously it comes with the controller, which is this one here. Um, yeah, it's very well designed. You can either open up and close with that on there, or it's got a button. <laughs> it's got a button there, which you can open or close. Um, I'm guessing I haven't used it yet, but I'm guessing this is here for little movies that stored on a memory stick, which is a USB, um, which is quite good. The sound of the, I'll, I'll plug it in in a minute, I'll just pause it and then I'll plug it in and stuff like that. Um, oh, that's, that's where that HD, spare HDMI cable is for this one here. <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, so there's that one. The battery's actually, the batteries out with it last quite long. I've had it now, what, I don't know, a month, two months, something like that. I've had loads of these stuff, like, not long, but I've used it quite a lot. I've got stuff in the DVD player, which I've watched two videos, or two, yeah, two DVDs on. Uh, Fast and Furious 9, which is really good. Uh, and something else. Probably one of the videos that I've done, my top 10, or top 20 DVDs. Uh, go, and have, go over and have, have a look at my main channel, uh, Itty Boy Alley. I'll link it in the description. I'll link other channels in the description as well. So, there's that. So, what I'll do is I'll just pause the video and I will get this connected and plugged in. Alrighty, so it's plugged in. As you can see, it says no CD there. Quite good. So if I just angle the camera down, you wouldn't be able to see my face, but it's focusing on on this. So you can either open it up with this. Try to face it that way. There you go. So open it up with the button. Sounds pretty decent. If I head over to I need a bit of a dust down these do. Right. Uh source. I'm still trying to get used to these, this controller. So this is the first DVD that I picked up out of my box because it was the closest and most convenient. I'm not obviously going to play it, I'm just going to show you it. Okay, so plug it in and I'll now close it with the actual one. Okay. Can you hear that? It's actually really, well it's not really quiet but it's noticeable. That one. Nope. That one. No, so that's the home TV. I'll show you in a bit. No internet connection. I know. Ah, okay. HDMI is one. Is it HDMI two? Searching. You can barely. You can just about see it. 
HDMI one. There we go. So it works both ways. HDMI. I don't know if I've got the cables to show you. Works both ways. I won't put the sound on, but it works that way. This movie is so cool. Uh, I'm gonna pause it. Go on to this one. So, pause. Uh, and it actually has pause up there. Now look. You can see it there. So that one. So if I now go to open, so it goes on to Oak Castle. You can see there, and it opens up. Okay. So if I leave that in there, and I'll just pause it, and I'll put it into the other wires as a shelf. Right. So it's plugged in with all the the yellow, white, and red cables and it's plugged into my TV so push it in again and go on to that one AV I believe not that one AV so it says it's searching Player? No. Well, it's plugged into something at the back. Only TV. Streaming channels. So. Not that one. All right, if I just undo it a minute, I'll get this to work. I'll get this to work. I know. We'll be back. Okay. So the annoying thing, if I raise my camera up a bit, the annoying thing is. <laughs> This TV doesn't actually plug it in, so it's only by the HDMI, which is downside of the TV. I will review the TV in the next video, and then I'll pro probably do a review video on the PlayStation. But that concludes this. Sorry about that, I got rudely interrupted by stupid little kids outside. So, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, sm punch the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay tuned.